Hey what's up everyone, Kobanamani456 here today, presenting to you all a new playthrough for the channel, as I am going to be covering a Wii U game that released today, and that is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, which is something I have been extremely excited about for quite a while, because I'm a huge Twilight Princess fan, in fact it's the first Zelda console game I ever played, so I have a ton of memories with it, and very excited to be sharing uh, my second run of this game with you all. So if you all are excited about this, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button, and if you would like to enter for a chance to win a copy of this game, make sure to follow the rules in the description below. And uh, also, let me know in the comments below for question of the day. How high would you rank Twilight Princess out of all Zelda games that have been released? But anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. And yeah, like I said, extremely excited about this because I've been wanting to do Twilight Princess for quite a while. And when I heard that Nintendo was doing an HD remake, I was like, holy crap, this is insane. I'm so excited. Though it is kind of disappointing in some ways because it didn't get the full Wind Waker HD treatment that everyone was kind of hoping for. But, oh, actually I'm going to be quiet right now so you all can hear this. I don't know why, but that opening cutscene always gives me goosebumps because of the music. Like, Zelda music just touches you in a way that it sends chills down your spine, which is a good thing I'm wearing a scarf right now. But I'm actually about to take it off because I would just put this on for the beginning of the video, the flex. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be that cheesy, but uh, I'm actually going to be going back to Hyrule Warriors um, when uh, Legends comes out so that I can uh, cover the other characters that um, are going to be available after uh, the 3DS game comes out. But anyway, alright, so we're going to be playing with the Wii U Pro Controller. I'm kind of a little bit disappointed that this game doesn't support the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, and I know some of you all may be like, Ugh, Kobe, what's wrong with you? Like, why, why do you like that Wii mode so much? But I actually do like it because I didn't really find the motion controls too intrusive. And um, I liked using the pointer. I don't know. I thought that was really cool. But anyway, it's time to get to the story. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But in enough talk of sadness, I have a favor to ask of you, Koban. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but... Would you go in my stead? You have never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is Castle Town, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You shall look upon it all with your own eyes. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. Alright. Man, I remember though, when I first played this game, and I saw Link in like his adult form. I was just like, oh my god, he looks amazing. <laughs> like, I don't know, they kind of gave him an edgier look with this game, which is... 
I don't know. I feel like Twilight Princess is definitely the edgiest out of, like, all the Zelda games. But, like, in a good way. Not too dark. It's, like, just right. And you can definitely tell that they have um, improved the textures for this game. Um, sadly, they didn't do the character models like most people wanted, which is why a lot of people have said this game's a disappointment. But I think it still looks pretty good, you know. Probably not as good as Nintendo could have made it, like how they did with Wind Waker, but still really good. My boy. All right, so I think now we're going to be able to play, or we have another cutscene. Hey, Koban, you there? Oh, snap, is it time? <laughs> and of course, we're waking up right now. Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. Alright, it's time for us to go do our job. Yeah, they always start Zelda games out with Link always sleeping, it seems. So, hey, where's Epona? Alright. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do during, like, these cutscenes or whatever. Like, should I edit myself out? I don't know. I can't actually do that on uh, the recording software I have here. But, um, hey. anyway, come on now. Hurry on up and bring a pony with you. All right, so it's time to go get our My Little Pony. But, um, yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments below how high you would rank Twilight Princess out of all Zelda games. Um... It's kind of hard for me to decide because I really, really like this game, Skyward Sword, and Ocarina of Time, especially the 3D version, a lot. Though, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to decide. I think Skyward Sword is probably my favorite, mostly due to the combat, and then Ocarina of Time 3D, and then maybe Twilight Princess, or Wind Waker. It's hard. <laughs> but, yo, is that Bay? Oh, hi, Koban. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I watched the Pona for you. Ooh. Let me join. <laughs> Yo, I swear, Link's faces and the expressions are so funny because he's just like so like, <laughs> like so happy and giddy all the time. I hope though in future, um, uh, let's see. Could he do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Opona likes? Oh yeah, so we gotta get ourselves uh, the little horseshoe grass here. Just kind of blow on it. And uh, that's actually, um, yeah, see there? It basically calls uh, Opona over, so pretty hype. Um, actually, let me go ahead and talk to her real quick. Is she gonna say anything else? All right. Um, anyway, though, uh, what was I saying? I can't even recall. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're gonna have a lot of cutscenes, and the beginning of the game is actually pretty slow. So for the first episode, we're probably not going to have too much interesting stuff. Though I'm gonna try and keep every episode about an hour long because I actually do want to finish this game in a timely manner. This is not gonna be like other Zelda games I've done on my channel because right now I am in the middle of doing Majora's Mask for the 3DS. Now that game I've never played. It's actually my first time ever playing it. Um, when I did my YouTube playthrough. So I kind of want to practice ahead of time before I actually do live stream or upload any more of that. But since I've been so swamped with trying to do, you know, different playthroughs on my channel and just other things in my personal life, haven't really been able to get to that like I want to, which is why I'm glad I'm doing Twilight Princess because I'm actually familiar with this game, with this, um, you know, just everything that's going on. So, all right, let's go ahead and talk to these people. Ah, if it isn't young Koban, are you going to close down the ranch for the day? I just closed the shop myself. I'm sure you know all about the mischievous monkeys that have been coming into the village lately. Those things worry me a bit. I'd better lock up tight here. I couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. Can't trust that good-for-nothing hut. Dang! Okay. Come on, Dad, you can't catch a silly little monkey. Uh, well, no. No, I can't. 
Dang, uh, listen to us, Babylon. I didn't mean to keep you. All right, off to work with you. Yo, why does the dad's hair look like a freaking Mario Kart banana peel? <laughs> All right. Anyway, though, we need to come over this way because this is where the ranch is. This is what we need to do for uh, our daily work. As Link uh, works on the ranch. Now, one thing I've always thought is was really weird about Twilight Princess was the outfits for these characters. Like, Link's got like something around him or whatever to keep that waist that that's hourglass figure, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Koban. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how about you and Epona herd them into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time, so you think you can do it for me? Let's do this, dude. I don't know why. I've always thought, like, their costumes look so weird, but... All right, so this is our first little, uh... Little, um, mission, I guess, or whatever. I'm supposed to whoop these guys right into the, uh, barn. So, kind of put them into timeout. Now, I don't know why it's acting really weird here, but, yo, come on, dude. Okay. Get the heck over there. God dang it, man. <laughs> Do you see this? Like, I'm doing so terrible right now. And it's funny, too. On my first try, I got these guys in so easily, but... No! I don't want you to go all the way over there. Are you kidding me? Thank you. All right. Now we're actually getting something done here. <laughs> I don't know why I had so much trouble in the beginning there. Like, they run off weird angles sometimes, so it's like, kind of have to whip around like that. There we go. There we go. All right. Get your booty in there, son. Don't make me have to get the belt right now. Don't make me get the switch. <laughs> it's so funny. So a lot of people, when I actually uploaded that one video, in case you all didn't say, uh, when my mom tells me to get the switch, uh, yeah, the switch actually is a tree branch. So that when I was a kid or whatever, if I did anything bad, I'd be like a spank with that. And my lord, did that thing hurt. Holy crap. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, that's just something random I thought about right now, but all right. Now that we got all of them in there, we are done. That took way more time than it should have. <laughs> took way more, t way much more time. But all right, so now, uh, oh yeah, so we, we're gonna kind of get a little practice here with the ponas controls and whatnot. So if we want to actually jump over um, fences and whatnot, just press the A button to get yourself that nice speed boost. There you go, skadoosh, right over the fence. So now that we're done there, I think that's it for the day. I'm pretty positive it is. But uh, yeah, by the way, let me know what you all think about the face cam and all that stuff, because I've kind of decided now that I think with most games, I should kind of do face cam if I can, you know, since, I don't know, I guess it adds, I feel like it adds a bit more personality to it. And it seems like a lot of people have been really enjoying the reactions in my Galaxy playthrough. So might as well keep it around. All right, what do these little kids want? Hey, hey wake up, Koban! It's morning already. <laughs> that doesn't matter to me, man. I, I usually work in the morning. Like, right now, I'm recording this at, like, 3 a.m., so... <laughs> Let me sleep in, fam. All right, so now that we hop down here, are we supposed to... I feel like I was supposed to go out up top, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay, actually, yeah, this is where we are. Okay. Alright, so go ahead and drop down here. And let's talk to this little trio of munchkins. Oh, Koban, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I need... I must try it. Tallow, if you and Mallow want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two want it, save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Aw, I wish I was born into a family with a sling. Wow, instead of one with a water wheel. That's crazy. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to run around here and collect rupees. I don't know why, my eyes are acting so weird right now while looking at this on um, my OBS recording software. It's kind of weird. But um, anyway, let's just go ahead and kind of run around here, collect the rupees and whatnot. Um, it is a bummer that I actually do have uh, myself covering the rupees. Because <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I didn't cover over the map. But now I can't even see how many rupees I have, so that's kind of annoying. But actually, wait, can I pause there like that and see? Or can I go like that and see? No, I, 
<laughs> so I'm gonna have to every once in a while, if I want to see how many rubies I have, I'm just gonna have to like turn my camera off for a second, I guess, so I can see myself. Um, anyway, oh yeah, so if we actually um, do the ZL targeting, we can talk to that dude up there. But first, let's go ahead and toss out all these uh, pumpkins here because I've got loads of money in them. I don't know why. It's kind of like, I don't know, kind of orange like Donald Trump's head, so... <laughs> Dang, that'd be crazy if Donald Trump's head had so much money in it. Probably does. Yo, don't waste food! Oh, my bad, dude. Alright, so, anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, will it let me? Huh, it won't even let me. Okay, I guess I should just go up there and talk to him, because... Yeah, what the heck? Okay. What the heck? Look at this dude! It's a real life tiki bowl! <laughs> Yo, there you are! Check this out! You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's gonna catch a fish, do you? <laughs> a cat can't catch no fish. What? Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. Look at that grass. See that grass growing there on that on the edge of that rock? Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could hop across these rocks with just a quick little hop, couldn't you? Yeah, you can actually do that. Dude, holy crap. Look at that man's forehead. <laughs> oh, oh my lord. It's like Peyton Manning. <laughs> that was like Peyton Manning's great great uncle or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and blow on this. Yo, I just realized he actually has a Triforce on his hand in the beginning. That's kind of cool. Interesting touch. Anyway, we're going to call upon the Great Hawk. Because what we need to do is we need to uh, send this little buddy over here. But see, this is what I'm talking about. So it's cool that we can use like the Pro Controller and all that stuff, but I really wish the option to um, use the Pointer was there. Like I thought the Pointer was really, really intuitive and uh, worked well. By the way, um, definitely need to get this because what we gotta do is bring this over to uh, very beautiful and yet sadly taken m mom over here <laughs> all right oh my koban i swear she's like the prettiest character in this game and that's saying something because most of these characters look pretty jank i've been looking for that cradle i made it when my first child was born and i have cherished it all these years did you know all this somehow did you find it and bring it back to me on purpose my thanks to you that reminds me there is something i am supposed to give to you do you think you could carry that cradle and come with me back to my house? <laughs> nah, I'm just messing around. Um, so yeah, this actually takes a cool minute because we have to actually walk along with her pace. So just adding, you know, a nice, a nice minute or two to the uh, <laughs> to the beginning of this game. Now, I do feel like the beginning for this is kind of slow, but it's not as slow as say um, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword, you have like a three-hour intro before you actually got to the meat of the game and went to your first temple. So, this one, a little bit faster, though, yeah. Anyway, my thanks to you, Koban. Yes, yes, I had nearly forgotten. I am supposed to give you this. All right, here you go! Woo! We got ourselves a fishing rod! So, right now, we could actually, if we wanted to, we could play uh, the sequel to Big's Fishing in Sonic Adventure. Yo, it's time. Just go, Froggy, where are you? Anyway, you can use it if you like. I will say, though, I absolutely hate fishing in Zelda games. It's so, so tedious. But, you know what? Let's just keep on breaking those pumpkins wide open. And uh, we're going to go over here because... Um, where were we? I'm trying to think. Oh, the cat's over here. That's right. But, yo, looking at the environments in HD... They actually look really nice. Like, look at the textures for the grass and everything. It's, like, way better than um, what it was on the uh, on the GameCube and Wii. And one cool thing about Twilight Princess HD is that it's actually running at 1080p. It's not upscaled or anything like that. It's actually running at 1080p. Yo, stupid cat. Don't make me. Don't make me, boy. <laughs> Don't make me pull out the closest thing to a Switch right now. You see this? You see this? Yeah, that's right. You come over here, son. <laughs> All right, so now that this cat has kind of gotten an idea of what we're doing right now, let's go ahead and set this there. All right, let's go. What the heck? 
No! I thought I caught on. No, come on. Come on. Take this bait. Take this bait, boy. There. Crap. So, I think when you kind of see it, like, dive into the water a bit, like, just kind of, like, bob just a little bit. Like that. There we go. All right. That's how we get it. And just pull it in. There we go. Get ourselves a nice green gill. Ten inches. Holy crap. These small fries are everywhere. All right. So now that that's done. Of course, this stupid cat's going to swoosh in. Just take my food. Wow. Bro, do you know how much hard work I did? I needed that protein. <laughs> the scene looks so funny. <laughs> They show us, like, five different angles of this cat running off. <laughs> I don't know why that looks so weird. But alright, now that that's done. Um, let's just kind of keep on looting the fields right now. Get this money. All this green. Holy crap. Alright, so I'm going to actually pick this thing up to toss this. I think we're getting closer and closer to having um, enough rupees to actually... Uh, get the slingshot because we need 30 rupees in order to actually get it um so yeah and there's actually something else that you can do with the hawk um to where you can actually send the hawk over to uh that beehive up there if you want to get yourself bee larva to make uh fishing way more effective though i'm not gonna really worry about that because i don't like i said i don't like fishing that much in this game so all right there's a rupee there are there any more here? Almost positive there was. Or wait, oh, they're up there. Okay, let's go ahead and climb up here real quick. We've got to be careful about them bees. So if you actually... Oh, yeah! Wait a sec, wait a sec. Okay, see here? There's that. Yikes. Okay, let me actually do that right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it out of the way, because I'm pretty sure... Um, is there is there a heart piece? There's something up there, I feel. Um, I just can't recall exactly what it is. But alright, so go ahead and get this real quick. Sadly, we can't skip this, but once the hawk actually comes, we can. Alright, let's go. Yeah, if y'all have any tips for this game, by all means, let me know down below. Though I feel like I have a pretty good grasp of, you know, just how Zelda games play. But then, at the same time, um, you know, it's like... I don't know. Uh, wait, those bees aren't coming after me, are they? Good. Okay, I was actually scared for a little bit. I was like, if those bees are actually about to chase after me, it's, it's time to dip real quick, go into the water. But now that we did that, we can actually get the bee larva if we wanted to, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb up here. I'm pretty positive there's something like a heart piece, I think. If not, then the first heart piece is gonna be um, in the forest later on, which uh, we can definitely Oh, ooh, okay, yo, I'll take it. All right, so let me go ahead and just kind of walk nice and closely. Little, ooh, holy crap, I thought I was about to fall. I, I didn't know why it like stuttered there for a second. All right, there we go, let's go, woo! Nice, thankfully we didn't get hurt. Now that we're done with that, and we got this lady's cat taken care of, now we can actually um, buy something because What's going to happen in the beginning is when you talk to her, she's going to be like, oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> because her little cat ran off or whatever. But look at this. Oh, you simply must hear this. My little kitty cat is so amazing. Today he caught a fish all by his little old self. How do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. Oh, just look, isn't he so cute? The way he laps up that milk. Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. Hey, we get ourselves that free bottle. Yo, what's up? It's bottle half empty, though. Okay. So this will replenish three hearts, which is basically all we have right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to her. I don't even need to look at my rupee count right now, so I am all good. All right, let's go ahead and buy something. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That is exactly what I want. I want that little slingshot there. We're, we're about to flex on these kids. All right. So now that we got that, we can go ahead and take out all the... Uh, Take out all these enemies with our little pellets. Very useful for um, Keese, which we're going to be running into um, very soon. Especially in this episode. Because like I said, I'm going to be doing probably about an hour, hour and 15 minutes for the first part. Because I want to get get through with the slow part of the game. And um, 
like I said, I do want, like, whenever I do games that aren't, like, Mario or Sonic or whatever, I'm definitely going to be doing long plays because I want to get as much done as possible. So, yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Yo, what's up, little buddy? Ah, just in time, Koban. I just delivered something to your room. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Colin will be pleased, and it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. Thanks, dude! So now that's done. Let's go ahead. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, let me actually go ahead and equip this real quick. We're going to swap the fishing rod out because we definitely don't need that. Now, aiming was a little bit difficult for me to get a hold of at first in the beginning because it doesn't have a little reticle or whatever there. I'm pretty sure that's only with... Uh, only with arrows or it's a bit easier to aim with arrows but with that you have to make sure it's like right in between the two top prongs in order for uh you know you to hit your target anyway there we go got ourselves that nice wooden sword russell returned it after honing it for you it's easy to use just press b why does this thing look like a paintbrush <laughs> it looks like we're about to play uh like epic mickey or something oh, oh, oh nice dude <laughs> And does anyone else get Epic Mickey vibes from that new Paper Mario color splash game that's supposed to be coming out on Wii U? I actually made a, I made a funny meme on Twitter. Uh, in case you all didn't see that, follow me on Twitter. Um, oh, here we go. Yep, got ourselves a slingshot. Yeah, I, I, I did it to where it was like, I remember the one scene from Paper Mario without like Thousand Year Door. I never played the game, but I do remember the scene where it was like in the town, there was like the noose and all that stuff. So I was like, yo, I'm looking up Paper Mario noose online. <laughs> and I just cropped out the, uh, I made the PNG uh, logo for Paper Mario Color Splash. I was like, yo, this is what the cover art should be if this next game is going to be Sticker Star, which I really hope it's not. I, I really hope it's not. And wow. Holy crap. Yo, Link. Link on that. If young Metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot life right now. Alright, see there? Bop. Woo! Alright, now see here? Here's what I'm talking about. So you gotta make sure it's like right in between the two prongs, like perfectly right there. Because if you have it like a little bit off or whatever, you're not gonna hit your target. So make sure you do it just right. There we go. Nice. And one last one. Skadoosh. Not bad. Whoa! Amazing, Koban! <laughs> Yo, the dude in the middle is so funny looking. <laughs> he looks like one of those little uh, Chinese, like, dolls or something like that. You know, kind of stack them in together and all that stuff. I don't know what they're called. Gee, you really are amazing, Koban! Yo, that's me! Yeah, you are! You can use swords and slingshots and everything. Hey, yeah, that reminds me. You gotta teach us how to use a sword, too. Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good! Come on, teach us how to use a sword. Yeah. All right, let's do it, dude. So, yeah, I definitely saved a lot of time by just uh, going um, into the room or whatever and just getting it over with. Because, um, yeah, if you don't, then they're going to be like, yo, you got to go get the sword real quick. And I'm just like, oh, snap. Okay, lots and lots of time just being wasted right now. So I'm trying to make sure that I get through this as fast as possible. Oh, snap. Yo, we got to prod it with the tip. Just the tip. All right. Oh, come on. Just amazing. <laughs> Since you're at it, how about you show us that other move? You know, that little twirly thing you do. I love that. What do you call it? The spin attack? Like, it's hard to briefly hold B and release it. You freaking pessimist. I will. Don't make me hurt you, boy. Don't make me hurt you, boy. You see this? You see this? I'm gonna chop that little ponytail off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, wow! Thanks, Koban! I'm sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Hey, wait! You gotta show us a j Ooh, yo. Yeah! Alright. I swear to God, kid. If you don't shut up. Holy crap, that destructive power. That's insane. That's what happens when you work out them muscles. <laughs> Which I actually did a couple hours ago. Did a little brief workout. Because I haven't been able to go to the gym as much as I want to recently. Wait! Why does that little monkey's ear look like he got Mike Tyson? <laughs> Come here, you! Yo, bring that, bring that booty here, boy! Holy crap. It's time, dude. It's time. We gotta chase after the stupid little monkey. <laughs> I know that's like a flower. I think that's a flower. But, I swear, that it makes his ear look like he was bit off or whatever. Like, uh, what is it, Mike Tyson Holofield? Anyway, yo, what's up? 
Hello, man. Okay. Oh, so you're too slow. I see you. I see how it is. One huge thing I'm actually really happy about with this game, though, is that, um... Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, it's actually... Well, not... I shouldn't say you're really happy about. Um, because... Uh, you know, it would have been nice if the game actually ran at uh, 60 frames per second, but it doesn't, so that means I can actually upload this in just 1080, 30 frames, which saves me a lot of rendering time, makes it way easier to actually get these videos out, pump them out for you guys, so that uh, we can finish this ASAP, because probably tonight I'm going to record maybe about... Hmm, I don't know, I'm thinking I may record like a good four hours or something like that if I can uh, stay up for that long, because... I've been going to bed around, like like I said, like 8 o'clock or something like that, so I could see myself doing that. Okay, so there is a... what? That's cut off, and we definitely can't slice that. Where, where was I supposed to go again? Because there's no pathway over there. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? But there we go, we're supposed to get the plan. I can't believe I forgot that so fast. Um, get the plan and then we call upon little Epona. Let's go, little buddy. Yo, let me ride you, dude. Now, Epona's controls, still kind of weird in this game. Um, you know, they work okay when you're running in like a straight line and you don't have like too many things in your way. But when you get into tight spaces, that's when it actually gets really, really, really bothersome, so... Yeah, um, Epona, like, in tight spaces, still a pain. Definitely a huge pain, because he will just, like, randomly go to a halt at times. Now, before we actually go to the forest, what we need to do is talk to me! That's me, dude. You see that fro there? That's me! <laughs> Whoa, an Ordonian! Hey, guy! Listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are tons of caves and... Dank. Yo, I was just about to say, yo, my boy is about to get real lit because we're about to get ourselves a lantern. But I didn't know he was about to say dank. Yo, look at that. That's definitely me. <laughs> All right, see, I sell lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you've got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. Go on, guy. Try setting a fire under that big pot. All right, so he's trying to, uh, you know, wait. No, I don't want to do that just yet. Yo, dismount. That's right. You stay right there, boy. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip that to X there real quick. Just kind of do a nice little swipe. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. See? That's right. See? It's on fire, guy. All right. So, yeah, we can go to him whenever we want. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, go ahead and light that up quick. I don't think this actually does anything, but I'm just like, whatever, YOLO. <laughs> now, there's nothing in his house right now. That's right, there's nothing in his house, so... There's no point even trying to do that just yet. Alright, get over here, son. Alright, see here, this is what I'm talking about. When we have the controls acting all weird like this, that's when... Yeah, it gets pretty annoying. Alright. So let's go ahead and run over this way, because we need to go back here and go into the forest, which, sadly, Epona is not able to go to. Come on, dismount, boy. All right. So now, look at this. Basically, like, our first enemy right there. That's crazy. Go ahead and chop him off. And uh, if you actually go ahead and pick this up real quick and toss him to the wall, get yourself some Deku Seeds. Use those for, like, your slingshot and whatnot. Now... Oh, God! You found a play wooden sword. It's Talos. I thought that was, like... I thought that was another uh, Deku Baba or whatever. But, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, God. I don't like this. Yep, that's right. All right. All right. Let me go ahead and swipe around at this. Oh, yeah. This was actually the first Zelda game to actually introduce, um, you know, being able to uh, swipe your... Wait, where the... God, it's so dark in here, dude. I feel like I'm being caressed by Dominic right now. <laughs> the blackness is strong with this one. Wrapped in black. Too black. Too strong. Okay, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Holy crap. Holy crap, I'm lost! Ah! Wait, I think I went backwards. Oops. Yeah, I actually went backwards. Okay. It's so dark here. Oh, God! Holy crap. 
Actually, yeah, I should be walking around with this. I'm stupid, man. <laughs> I swear to God. I shouldn't just be walking. I, I have a lantern for a reason. Ah! Ah! That's a freaking rat. Freaking ratatouille. Okay. There we go. Set fire to all this stuff. Wow, that's lame. Okay. Well, it's time for some target practice, I guess. Can't just... Uh, all right, there we go. There we go. Nice. Yes! That's exactly what I need. Some more rupees. Perfect. Now in here... Uh, all right. Yep. Freaking that tongue game. Holy crap. All right. Knock these guys out. Now there is a little treasure chest here. So go ahead and get that real quick. Nice, 10 rupees. Hey, look at this. We're on a roll right now. God dang. All right, let's put that away for a second. I hate this music, man. <laughs> like, that is one thing about uh, Twilight Princess. It definitely has darker vibes with the music, so because of that. I I've always said music is like really, really important to me. It, it affects how I, you know, enjoy a game or, you know, how I, kind of like I'm in the mood or whatever with the game like it, it, if the environment fits it like crazy or whatever like yeah it, it'll definitely give me chills if the music is like perfect on point with what's going on so like even though Twilight Princess isn't a scary game or anything like that I I find myself getting goosebumps a lot because it's like holy crap I feel like something is about to jump out and get me even though it's not it just feels that way because the music is so menacing good. <laughs> kind of like Jojo, you know, when you, whenever something crazy is about to happen in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, um, anime, if y'all haven't watched that, um, they have like the menacing and it's like, ah! oh God, you again. I need to brush your teeth, dude. Ugh, that's nasty. All right. So we got ourselves some keys here. Like I said, um, you can actually use a slingshot to take those guys out um, easily if you want to. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get ourselves the small key along with um, small key along with our first heart piece. All right, here we go. Jump slash. Go ahead and finish that boy off. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. All right, go ahead and swipe that. It's lit. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, one of the traditional Zelda puzzles, light the torches, get rewarded. So never, never pass upon a torch that's not lit. You know, you gotta spread the litness around. <laughs> oh god, okay. So get up here. Now I believe one thing that they actually added to uh, the HD remake of this game is uh, you can actually, um, whenever you have like more than um, enough rupees or whatever in your possession, to where if you get, um, what is it? I'm trying to recall what it is. I think it's like when you actually, um, when you have like a full wallet or whatever and you run into a rupee or whatever and like a treasure chest, um, it won't actually, uh, it won't, you know, let you take it and then you can't get it later on. It'll actually let you put it back into the um, treasure chest. So that's really welcome addition. Now what we're doing here is trying to finish stuff off because okay there we go nice beautiful all right all right finish him off with that jump slash uh what we need to do is we need to come over here so that we can uh go to this fence because we got that small key for a reason obviously so all right here we go get bop oh god no how dare you freaking wooden thingamabob all right get that now, one thing we can actually do here, which is pretty cool, um, well, if he would come a little bit closer. Yo, come on, dude. That's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> you can stick your stick your little tip right through, and there you go. Nice. <laughs> so he can't do anything to you, but you can just kind of poke him a little bit. <laughs> All right. I think we're doing really well um, progress-wise and time-wise. All right, here we go. Holy crap, just the tip is really good enough for those guys. They don't want the full swipe, they don't want that full stroke. Alright. What the heck? Die. Alright, now there's actually a self-serving bird right there. Why does he have a fro like how I used to? <laughs> Holy crap, that's a crazy toucan there. 
Um, anyway, uh, yeah. That bird over there, um, you'll have to pay him in order to uh, fill up your uh, potions or whatever. Because I guess the game assumes that you suck. So um, they kind of expect you... Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> that was cool. Did you see that? So like when we slashed his head off wide open, uh, then it just randomly turned into a Deku nut there. Like the transformation actually looked really cool. Um, I guess they expect you to suck though, so it's like if you already drank your milk, you can go ahead and get a potion there. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do quick. I'm gonna go ahead and drink my milk, get that out of the way, and then um, that way we can, uh, let's see, so I need to go to, okay, focus on me, stupid camera. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and drink that real quick. Uh, should I equip this to, okay, equip that to R, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and just drink up. Don't even eat it, but you know, I just wanted that nice tasty snack. All right, so what is this? Let's check this. All right, replenishes, wait, what? Okay, red potion refill, what's the green potion? What is that? Oh, that's lantern oil. Oh God, no, I don't really care about that. All right, let's go ahead and scoop, or why is it not? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's how we do. All right, so get yourself some of that nice, lovely red potion. Replenishes eight hearts. Wait, huh? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll do it, I'll do it. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. How much am I supposed to put in? I can confirm, okay. I wasn't trying to steal, dude. I, I thought you already took from me. <laughs> holy crap, that dude was pecking at my head, dude, on that pecking order, like. Uh... Well, I would have really liked if I could have gotten my heart back, but, you know. Wow, it's crazy. Anyway, though, I gotta really make sure I don't use that potion, so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm going to put this... Where do I put... Ah, oh, I can't. God dang it. Should probably just switch the fishing pole over or whatever. Alright, because I don't want to, like, accidentally, like, you know, I don't want to accidentally use it by, like, pressing the R button or whatever. I've had that happen multiple times in the past. First, though, let me go ahead and get that. Alright, here we go. You ready, boys? You ready? Skadoosh! <laughs> Look at that. Freaking monkey, so happy. Alright. So, there we go. That's, uh, kind of like the slow part of the beginning of the game finally done. If you hadn't come, Koban, gee, me and that monkey would have gotten even, probably. She's actually a pretty nice gal, that monkey. She tried to protect me, so we got captured together. Um, Koban, you're not going to mention this to my dad, are you? He's always telling me to never, ever go into the forest, because he says it's dangerous. So you really can't tell him. Really, you have to promise. Dang. I wish I had a dad I could tell all myself about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid, man. My son told me Tallow disappeared into the woods and had not returned. I came as soon as I heard. But it looks like you have brought him home already. I apologize. Such a task should not fall to you. Tell me, have you noticed how strange the woods seem lately? I feel uneasy about what may lie in wait. Anyway, Koban, tomorrow is finally the day. You will be departing for Hyrule. I think it is a good thing I have given this task to you. Good luck and return safely. If you are lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. <laughs> Yo, it's time. Is it time? It's time. She's going to finally meet the little dashing lad like me. Got this little thing on me to get that nice hourglass figure. Woo! <laughs> What's poppin'? What's poppin', Zelda? You see me? That nice limb waist. Hey, Koban. Yo, is that big the cat? Holy crap. Okay, so almost time for you to get going, huh? Come on. So how about we finish up early today? Oh god, yo, we're about to lose so badly right now. I can already tell some mystical BS is about to happen right now. And I'm not going to get all these guys in fast like I'm supposed to. I think the limit's three minutes. The time limit's three minutes. Yo, come on, little buddy. Yeah, that's right. No, you should have come a little bit closer. Don't make me walk over to you, boy. All right. It's time. So we got 20 of these little hoes. Yeah, that's right. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Thank you. All right. Now let's whip around. That's right. Five of them. Eh? 
Perfect. See here, we got so many of these stupid things around here. There we go. Alright. A then. Perfect. Alright. Let's get these guys in. Yeah, these actually seem to cooperate a little bit better than the other crew. The other crew was really annoying. Yo, get out of my way, dude. Oh my god. No, you all are not about to do this to me right now. That's right. That's right! Okay. 12 in so far. Ugh. It's definitely the most tedious part. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Now we got 15 of them in. Okay. Five more. Alright, let's kind of get them all together there. That's right, that's right, that's right. What? WAIT! HUH?! Why'd he do that? You! Don't make me get the freaking belt on you, son. I will get the belt on you. Yeah, oh my god, I hate opponent's control sometimes. Oh! When you get them fully running. That's what you do. Okay. Well, that one's going in. Get in. Get in, boy. Alright, we got one there. No! Are you kidding me? God dang it. I hate this mission so much, man. No. Cut off. Oh my god, this is so annoying, man. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Hurry in. Don't make me. Don't make me. Get in! Oh my god. Okay. Last one. Last one. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh my god. Before I did this in a minute 30. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Time limit's three minutes. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. I almost failed. I almost failed. I hate myself so much. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, at least we're done with that. We never have to do that ever again. Ugh. Disgusting. What the heck? Why are you stupid? I gotta run around and do this all over again. Yeah, for some reason, if you're not a good distance or whatever, after you've gotten your dash, uh, she won't jump over the fence for some really weird reason. But anyway, there we go. Time to go to Ordon Village now. Back here. Take care of business. Ooh, my fine lady. Wait, one punch man with <laughs> with little uh, horns on his nostril? What? Oh, done herding for the day, Koban? Well, nice work. Thanks, my dude. The royal gift Russell told you about is ready, so you should get ready for your trip to Hyrule Castle. Now, the royal family requested this gift specifically, so it's real special. It'd be bad if the representative of Ordon were to be late for such an occasion. You get me, lad? The path before you is a long one, my sweet horse, but please bear Koban safely along it. Wait, what's this? <gasps> what happened? She's injured, isn't she? Oh no, dude, not me. Koban, how could you? You were pushing Kobana too hard again. I bet you hurt her leg jumping fences, didn't you? Now, now, Ilya, there's no need to get so hot with them. Father! <gasps> Holy crap, yo, if I did that, do you know how fast the belt would come out? Freaking white people, man, think they can get away with just being like, Father! Look at this dude, he's actually bowing his head to her. She's some queen. That ain't Kim Kardashian. <laughs> now, if it was Kim Kardashian, it would be like, 
<laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> For Amber Rose, though. Yes. Wait, Ilya! Why, without a Pona, the gift won't get delivered in time. Oh, this won't do. No, 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 it won't. Heck, no. Alright, it's time. So we gotta cheer up Ilya, and I've recorded for about an hour and 15 minutes, so pretty good so far. I'm gonna have to edit a bit though, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, <clears throat> well, let's go ahead and chop some flowers off, why not? Chop that off, see if we can get some... God, holy crap, look at that. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's like an extra heart around here or something. I wonder, can you hurt the chickens? You can't! Oh, yeah, that's right. The chickens, you can actually, um, what is it? Use them to hover. It's crazy. The power of chickens, man. They can actually carry a man. That's insane. Kind of like Church's Chicken, man. Do you know how many times Church's Chicken carried me in life? <laughs> Come on, are you going to see Ilya? Maybe it's just me, but those guys don't normally let people through. Um, Come on, you think, you think we could go see Ilya together? Oh, snap. Yo, little buddy. Come on, dude. Oh god, this mess. Okay, they're gonna try and bamboozle me. Hey, we've been waiting for you. <laughs> Yesterday was so much fun. Yeah, chasing that monkey was great. Why does this little kid want me to pick him up? <laughs> I just wanted to tell Mallow here about how we wanted to show it to him, but we let it go instead. Oh, you didn't get caught, Tallow? Oh, Colin. Way to spoil everything by telling your dad. Nice job. Yeah, thanks a lot. We got scolded by our dad. Something awful. I thought it was never gonna end. I bet you're trying to go see Illy, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm gonna let you pass. Oh, hey, neat, Koban. Let me borrow that wooden sword. Watch him kill himself. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright. Dude, I swear that little dude with the freaking... The little cheeks. <laughs> just wanna, like, pop him or something. Like, you know, baby's cheeks are there just like... Ooh, like all cute looking and whatnot, you just want to be like with both your hands or whatever. Man, babies are so awesome. I love babies. Don't I don't want to have babies. Let's let's get that straight. Though. Not right now, at least. <laughs> Not right now. I, I I'm keeping myself nice and. Woo. Anyway, though. All right. But no, I I do like babies a lot. I haven't seen my baby sister in a while. Ooh, we need to go see her. Anyway, I'm just rambling on, thinking to myself right now. Now, we need to go see Ilya, right? You want to save time? Don't even worry about trying to go over there, because she's going to be like, No! I'm going to be Donald Trumping it up. Be like, you're not getting past this wall. This is wall, Ilya! <laughs> like, she's like a freaking Attack on Titan character. But yo, I mean, I will say this right now, the little boy looks like Armin. I swear he looks like Armin. And he acts like Armin a little bit. He's like, oh, scaredy cow. And then later on, he actually gets some balls. I had no idea. I hadn't heard the details about Talo's capture. But Colin... Look at this. He even got the little blonde hair, just like Armin. Yo, give me my horse back. Who you think you is? So you still prefer your master over me, huh, Pona? That's right! That's right! You better love me more! Don't worry about your horse, Koban. Fortunately, it looks like the injury isn't too serious. You two can go on together. Yo, her eyes look so dilated, man. <laughs> like, compared to how they looked on uh, the GameCube version of this game. She looks so weird, dude. Like someone just sucked the life and soul out of her. No matter what happens on your journey, don't try to do anything out of your league, please. Just come home safely. Oh, That's so darling. You know I'm not gonna listen. I do what I want. Oh no, dude! Oh. Wait! You can't just shoot her like that! Watch me drown. Yo, they even kidnapped the boy. I'm so lucky I fell on my back. <laughs> I'm so lucky I fell on my back. Yo, look. It's Rick Ross, the, the bad guy. Huh? 
Isn't that dude named the Moblin or something? I can't recall. Holy crap! Yo! Did it really just... You were just two seconds late, kid. Really? <clears throat> oh, wow. Thanks for saving me time there. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to run back or whatever. Oh, my God. All this blackness. Yo, this is actually Dominic. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I guess we save here. And, um, actually, this would be a perfect time to uh, end off the video here, because let's see, how, how long is it going to say I've been recording? 54 minutes, yeah. Not a good area to start end off this video. So, after this cutscene ends, that's why I'm going to end it here, and then we're going to continue on in the next part. Oh no, I'm locked up, dude. Holy crap. Well, like I said, we're going to end off here. So, uh, yeah, that wraps it up for this video. Hope uh, it was productive enough for you all. Um, oh. Or let's just let the cutscene play. <laughs> God dang it. I wanted to be able to get out of here. Dip. <laughs> Wait, that booty though. I found you. Ooh, aren't you scary? Eehee! <laughs> Are you sure you want to be doing that, snarling and glaring at me? <laughs> well, that's too bad. Yo, that was HD. Makes it so visible now. I was planning on helping you if you were nice. I'm nice, dude. That's much better. You humans are obedient to a fault, aren't you? Oops, but you aren't a human anymore, are you? You're a beast. <laughs> Don't piss me off like that. There, there, you need to be a good boy and calm down. No need to bite. Yo, I love Minda. Holy crap. You look kind of surprised. <laughs> So, I bet you're wondering, where exactly are we? Why can't you just destroy the entire chain? You got me feeling like a slave now. Well, I'll make you a deal. If you can get over here, maybe I'll tell you. <laughs> Look at Minna with her lioness weave. Alright. So, like I said, we're gonna end off here. Look at her just taunting me over there with her freaking hand. You're my right hand. You're my go-to. Anyway, um, yeah. Like I said, that's it for this video. So I hope you all enjoyed this first part. If so, as always, make sure to drop that like. It helps out tremendously. Next episode, we're going to be continuing on with Wolf Link. And it's going to be all kinds of hype. So, 
yeah, and that episode should be uploaded very soon because right now, like I said, I'm just going to end this and I'm going to keep on recording and try and get like a good four hours recorded tonight, hopefully, and uh, have some progress. But anyway, thanks again. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Republic of Kobanamites. Take care.